What's up guys? This is the Roverman and we are back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off weapon last time, we have absolutely blitzed through mainland Britain. In one turn we took Dublin, Edinburgh and London. And we took London when there's a whole bunch of troops in the north of England. But now we have to struggle with the problem of holding on to Britain. So we may actually build this guy into a church school to try and spawn more priests to help try and... I mean, religious unrest is actually not a big problem. Um, but yes, the main problem is we're going to have a lot of unrest in this area for a while. So probably going to need to do, well, pretty much not a whole lot of nothing for a while, I think. Because I'm, re I'm building a, a boarding house. We've already got one boarding house. But the main thing is I want to try and repair Somerset House, which will take a few turns to do that. So next turn they're going to destroy something, which doesn't matter too much. Which, I mean, damaging one of my eco economic buildings will be a pain because it'll mean I can't, uh, it'll mean I can't, I probably can't repair Somerset House in time. But it's not the end of the world. And looking at it, <laughs> it's like the Ottomans are... Kicking off early. They've been okay for the last few parts, or the last few end turns, but now they seem to be causing problems. So, see you in a second, everyone. <laughs> this episode is going to take uh, some time to get recorded. But right now I'm just reading an article about Royal Navy frigates. So, keeping myself busy <laughs> during the downtime. But yeah, the hope. So there's going to be a rebellion this turn. Hopefully, it's either Liverpool or Portsmouth, and they break in military dockyard. Many because I don't really care about those so much. Coaching in, that's unfortunate, because that is a directly happiness related, but we are already building a new one. Still no priests, and I'm not going to spend any money, because we need to repair Somerset House. So we need 4,300, so we need 1,100. So even if we lose a bunch of cash, we can still do it. Who's that? Oh, you're trading with Sweden, aren't you? Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I don't want to build anything. I don't want to touch anything. These guys are all being replenished, so I'm not worried about the rebels. Although there's probably going to be a good rebel contingent here. It's just going to be a bit of a waiting game, I think. Especially when the rebels show up. If we can kill them, then all the better, I think. But I don't want to do any building here. I think we need to wait. I think after all this, while this is all going on, we are still getting research done, at least. So it's not the end of the world, but I definitely want to take... Want to pass away Britain and then start to send armies out to secure the little uh, trade outposts. Oh, it's the Ottomans, so I'm going to jump out right now. Although, they were literally only out of it for about five seconds, so maybe that's the... Maybe I don't have to do that anymore. Obviously Sweden's now the, the annoying problem. They, they're sat there going... Working out how to uh, send troops to attack us, so that's... Another reason why pacifying Britain is such an important job. Of course, Britain is incredibly... London is an incredibly wealthy region, so obviously we want to exploit economic development, but... Because you've got a church school... Two units of the 33rd foot. I'm pretty sure you could only get one of those. Okay, so we're going to send some troops to chase them down. Maybe probably two units of these guys. Obviously this is going to make unhappiness a lot higher. But there's nothing we can do about that. Catholicism Catholicism is growing in popularity. It's probably worth 
preparing the barracks now so I can slowly start to filter in reinforcements. Maybe even up here in Scotland start to recruit men. But these guys, your job is to go and kill the rebels. So they're very good infantry. We've got lots of infantry and we've got more cavalry than they do. But we do want to chase them down and kill them because when you kill them their unhappiness drops a lot. It might not be enough to necessarily stop another rebellion but it will go from say minus it's currently minus 14 it might go from that to maybe minus 8 minus 6. But what we don't want is a rebel army in the field because that keeps unhappiness high and the higher the unhappiness the more uh, the stronger their forces get. So let's deploy back. Let's deploy our infantry out to maximise their firepower. Cavalry on each flank. Because we do want them to come to us. Because we need to, we want to maximise the firepower of our canister shot at close range to offset our, our uh, inferiority in infantry. So let's specifically try and target either the 33rd foot or the Swiss line with artillery fire. Mercenaries I'm not so bothered about. It would also be nice if we could knock out the regiment of horse. We do naturally want as many. We need to chase these guys down afterwards and do as much damage as we can. Which hopefully, when reinforced... Oh yeah, they're waiting on a uh, Swiss line unit to get into position. Which is good. Okay, try and hit Swiss Swiss line. Because there's definitely a balance. You don't want to send all your troops off to go and attack a rebel army. You don't want to send all your troops off to attack a rebel army because the end result will probably be you just losing the uh, losing your city. I mean, okay, they're not pushing. Let's give them someone to chase. Our cavalry is a lot more experienced than yours. Okay, good. Now they're pushing. And by the looks of it, we're probably going to pivot these guys like so. Hold the cavalry. Okay, I think just speed up time. I really think we're probably going to end up doing something like this. So on the, some guys to hit this unit of 33rd foot, which is already really upset. That's perfect. So my cavalry can move in. Try and mop up survivors. These guys all want to move. There you go, our cavalry, our artillery can switch to canister shot. So we might not kill all of them, but the, we can only get as many as we can as many as we can.
I've got these guys down to 40 men, so I'm going to want to... Oh no, it's tempting to try and kill them. Okay, let's get the artillery to fly a round shot and engage their regiment of horse. Yeah, six men, four, two, one, good. Now go kill the line infantry. I want you guys going after their line. Let's avoid their cavalry. Okay, you really ought to probably bombard 33rd foot. Maybe you better fight the regiment of horse. You can pivot and attack the Swiss line. This unit changed hit the Swiss line. Of course these European mercenaries have come back. It's not a massive problem in of itself. This is my general versus their general. So it's inherently a bit dodgy. Let's pull my men back. Because they are expecting support. And this is Swiss line we're fighting against. Against native African troops. May even charge the colonial line up to engage in support. So I do you want to kill this regiment? It's left hand set of guns, engage the mercenaries. You guys are down to your last ten men. Keep going after them. But abandon the artillery. Go after the Swiss line. Abandon the cavalry, I should say. But bring one cavalry back to support my artillery. Yeah, they've come back immediately, look. So you, my cavalry has to go engage theirs. Let's see if these guys can catch these line infantry before they get away. Damn right, we're going to continue. These are rebel scum. Just kill as many of them as you can.
keep right clicking keep fi keep uh, updating the uh, the logic at the very least if you don't kill them today you want them to be so weak you can just utterly destroy them next time By bringing both my cavalry was such an important factor here. Seven men, three men. So I usually find it's not worth trying to drag them around to fight individual people. Just keep right clicking. They'll keep up. They'll keep updating, and they will work their way around the block of men. Decisive victory. That's the word you want to see. So we've got two hundred men remaining. Unfortunately, I doubt they're in a state to take Edinburgh. Push on regardless. I think they're probably more inclined to go after um, the home territory, so they're probably going to try to run around us and do something. Yeah, I've got a rebellion. I've got a church school in England. So it's mainly to try and chip away the Protestantism while trying to also gain like a uh, religious happiness boost. Like what we get in Dublin. I think we get it in Dublin, don't we? No, no, you don't. Well, we're not. We aren't, anyway. So what does it say? So it should say plus one happiness for the Catholic population. So we should be getting one, some happiness. Maybe it takes a bit more than I thought. But anyway, let's check our research. One more turn to a social contract to reduce the cost of repairing buildings. Which is going to be pretty useful. So Britain's going to be on strike again this turn. Then it's going to break something next turn. And then it's going to rebel again. But at the very least, hopefully if we kill the rebels, then that should be the end of that. Well, not that should be the end of that. It will, it will go a long way to helping, absolutely. Um... And we are repairing Somerset House, so we should get some bonuses in terms of repression from having a intact government building. And we're also building that bawdy house as well that's currently broken, but will now be it'll now be in in action. So it won't be a gain of two happiness to three happiness because it's broken. The two has become zero because it's not working because it's broken, and then we'll go up from zero to three. So it'd be quite a start gain. Obviously the Georgian navy is growing in the centre. You do you, Georgia. War tourism. Hurrah! Hurrah! Bam. Catholic missionary in Tunis. Okay, let's get you onto Oran. Intellectual advance, social contract. So we're going to get this guy to Oran, then we're going to get him by ship up to Britain. And they're now happy with us after we've killed the last rebel force excellent news. So let's get you guys back into the city. Let's repair this trade port. Send some of these militia out to guard some of these ports. Let's probably send this weak unit. Oh, you can't go there. Ha. Yeah. So what roads have you got? Basic roads. Let's also get... Got any mother? Sit in Greenwich. So we've occupied all our main ports. We don't need two shipyards in this region. We're going to build a... 
Got a craft workshop. Let's build something that makes us more cash. Now we're running 6,000 a turn. So we've got the boarding house. At some point we will actually... No, I don't want to upgrade you. Because I want you to be a school at some point once they've chilled out. So two happiness buildings might be a bit overkill. So later on we might look at knocking one of these down. So instead I think I might just upgrade the Jesuit College here. Let's repair the artillery building. Yeah, they're on strike in England, but now they're okay. Soon there'll be no religious unrest and we'll start to chip away at their Protestant teachings. And actually, I might even... Hmm. Where's the best place to put you? Hey, Morocco threw the Ottomans out. Awesome. I might actually put this priest over here. Because you've got two church schools in England, so you don't really need it. So we've got social contract... Let's get... Okay, so what have we got here? You can do steam pumps. You can do a blast furnaces. I'm trying to think of what my best research to go for is. It's probably... Something like farms. Four turns. You guys will be built. Will be finished. Three turns, Tatooine will be done. Got our militia. We're earning 6,000 lovely gold a turn. So I definitely want to send... I'll probably... Uh, it's tempting to go take Brazil. Because they're very, very wealthy. And they're currently being owned by just pirates. But they invite war. They are not regions that are conducive to a profitable uh, profitable mindset, a profitable future because they invite conflict whereas taking some of the former British, British possessions might actually be a good idea. But obviously it'll take a few turns we need to get Britain to settle down I'd probably like to start building a navy. Really. Because Sweden's going to come after us. But I might just keep trying to get peace with them. So Russia obviously takes a while. Because they've actually got quite a few wars to fight. So. I'm going to fix the naval board. Just so I don't have to deal with any of the... Uh, Black smoke rising. Let's upgrade Liverpool to a trading port. Let's repair this trading port. Can't actually recruit anything from any of these. Is it because the naval board's broken? So you can build one from Greenwich, or maybe I can't build from basic trade ports. Looks like it. It's only when you get commercial ports that you can get sixths. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You guys can replenish for a little bit. Don't worry. Keep on reducing your unhappiness of us. Let's build a craft workshop in Galway because they're prosperous and Dundee can also have a craft workshop. So they're both weavers. So you've got weavers, weavers, weavers. So processing down or getting spinning jelly might not be a bad idea. Yes, we've got our light galley, which we no longer need. So I'm just going to scupper it. Because this priest has no real home. Unless... I just want to keep... Unless I want to boost the growth of Catholicism here so I can sooner get rid of my... What do I want? Would I want to get rid of my seminary, though? Probably not. Yep, next year it's six and a half thousand. It's going to take a few turns. My army can't leave London. Otherwise, they'll rebel.
but at the very least I'm feeling more positive. Much more positive about this run than my previous run. But then again I've said that multiple times through these campaigns, through through my experiences as the Knights of St. John. I've sat here and gone, I feel good at various points of all of them. So my main concern is where will it go wrong this time? At the very least, the Ottomans have managed um, the Ottomans have got bigger fish to fry. They're fighting the Russians. Right now my main concern is building up the British Isles. Because I do want a school to get more research done than I currently am doing. In fact, if the Ottomans declare on me, if, if they do, I'll probably actually abandon Malta in order to spur that development of, you know, losing my, moving my capital. I mean, ideally it would go to London, but I think it will probably transfer to the closest one. I, mean, I don't really know actually how it would work. Not exactly. Got a rake in England, understandably, because you've got loads of loads of buildings. So these guys have all got max building roads. You probably don't need a church school then anymore. Because you've got one where it needs to be. So we can get ooh, Admiral's flagship, third ray of the line. And let's build a fourth rate. Maybe not. No, don't build too much. Let's not go crazy. Going crazy is how you lose games. No new towns. One turn to the next level farms. But I don't think we've got any animal husbandry farms. Maybe we do in London. We do in the UK actually. Yeah. A whole bunch. Good. So currently, if we left, if we left, it looks like we'd probably be fairly negative. Okay, let's build a seminary. At some point, I do want to knock down this happiness building, but we'll probably do that as we convert more of the population to. Um, Catholicism, but obviously our people in government are making our job a lot harder because lots of them have people that you know, minus status quo status quo manufacturer iron hand harsh reputation yeah loads of these people really don't like don't like the don't like poor people. At least we've got low taxes. So both these schools might actually end up being necessary if I want to build a university there. Oh, and they recently just got that. At least, the, at least this guy also got Thief Taker plus two repression across theatre. But yeah, you don't really have a role right now, so you just go to the dockyard and wait. Oh, we get we do get more research points. Well, actually, this gains us research points for enlightenment tech. I'm tempted to build it just because we will. We probably will need it regardless. I'm starting to get religious happiness as well. Actually, that's pretty good. So one more turn to our next gen farms. Next gen. The next generation of farms. And then I'd like to explore the possibility of sending a small force out west. Let's start to clear up some of the pirate islands. And let's start to really get our 
economy firing on all cylinders. So now the Mor- the Moroccans have thrown the Ottomans out. I don't even need to worry about fighting, declaring on Morocco now, because why do we need to bother? I've got London. Like London's an incredibly, incredibly rich region. So I don't really think it's. I'm as bothered. The Portuguese are in France. That's the Portuguese are in France. I really hope Portugal gets Paris. That would be hilarious. Good. So we've got our next farming tech. So we're still just plus one happiness. Oh, you needed selective breeding, not improved animal husbandry. I am a fool. Let's get spinning, Jenny. You can't... You can't really handle a big university either, because you're not going to get any new towns. Tunis would be better placed. So maybe when... Ah. So I might build this into a school. Which will add on six clamour for reform. But when this is built, I can destroy this building. I should start to get religious happiness soon. It's got a craft workshops. She can upgrade straight into weavers' cottages, which is lovely. You into a smith's, and that's very good news. 7,100. You guys are fully replenished. One more turn till we get a third rate, which might might have overshot that somewhat. Probably would like to get some uh, sloops to go and occupy these towns in place of in place of uh, actual military units. Right, everyone, leave me alone. You've got your own business to sort out. And I'm looking forward to the time where we currently run out of things to spend money on. <laughs> we had that during my during the Louisiana campaign. And that was lovely. We we're only about 15 grand a turn and there's nothing to spend it on, so you just have to keep all of it. Go on, Portugal. Do not lose your army. Go do something with it. Take Paris. Trouble is, the colours are so similar on the campaign map, I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe they've already taken it. Maybe something crazy's happened and it's happened. A gentleman in London. Okay, let's get you to sit in Oxford preemptively. No, it's still France. Embark our agent aboard our ships. Si, sí, signore. Deposit him along the enemy shore. Getting him back into Portsmouth. Start to keep an eye on what's going on. New port emerges at Napa in Algiers. Trade port. One more turn to Spinning Jenny. Obviously they're not they are not happy about this clamour for reform. But at the very least uh, I can actually now destroy the seminary here keep converting them with my priest and switch them over to a happiness building. I mean... So is this repression in the region? I'm pretty sure that's not... It's not going to be global. Okay, so let's get. So let's start to recruit. Just let's recruit a few sloops. So what do we want? One, two, three, four sloops. 
realistically. Let's just get ready. Let's get oh, you know, get some marines. Because there's a whole lot of stuff out here. Except we could take those, but they, they attract things like the Mughal Empire. Whereas things like Curacao, Jamaica, Nassau, they're usually pretty safe bets. So we're down to zero. Well, military crackdown is going to go down. We are still building the theatre. So what are we researching? One turn to spinning journey. I don't think one turn... Well, one turn, it can get worse. But let's... Yeah, they're bumping into the back of each other. Two turns spinning, Jenny. It's fine. It's two turns till that's built anyway. So let's hit end turn. Yeah. Other nations go for other nations do go for the South American regions, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna ignore them, I'm gonna leave them. Let them be them. I wanna go for the islands, and I'm not gonna garrison them. I'm gonna suck all the resources out of them as I can. And I don't want to garrison them and keep them occupied. I potentially may even be able to trade one with Sweden for peace. That would be an interesting option. And it looks like the Ottomans are going to do their Ottoman tricks. So, see you in a sec, everyone. Awesome. Oh, that's going to be a big, big loss of Ottoman income there. The Russians have gone and raided and captured their port. But I think the main benefit of capturing London is that it means that our income is now detached from trade from our capital. It's not as important as it used to be. One more turn till we get Spinning Jenny, which will boost a bunch of our economy coming out of Britain. Okay, so let's pick pick our sloops to go occupy the ports. Okay, one more crew next turn for Newcastle. So let's take this militiaman, get him back, get the Native Amer Native African infantry back, get this militia unit back and let's see how much of an army can we move out of London quite a lot well these men may embark upon a great crusade over to over to uh, oh no they need to wait for the marines wait for the marines but they're going to embark on a great crusade over the, across the Atlantic and go and secure new lands for the Maltese people. So we get Spitting Jenny in a turn, which is great. School built here in a turn, which means soon we can knock out this one, because you can't. There's no villages left. We can't build anything to make it happier. The Governor's Palace is the highest building we can get. So I think it makes sense to move our university now. So I would love five by rank, but we kind of need our school over here to get up and kicking. And we can't get that until uh, Britain chills out a bit more. So I may even spend some money upgrading this to a pleasure garden. So you wanna, you got, these guys are going to wait one turn to get their marines. 
Okay, so even though I'm way over, I'm probably going to end the part when I ship my... or well, I'm about to uh, ship my men overseas. It's so probably next turn. So I think that'd be a really cool place to uh, to end it there. Oh, the Ottomans are back, so see you in a sec, everyone. Sneaky beaky Ottoman games. Hmm. As is tradition, when I cut the recording early, the Ottomans actually speed up and they end their turns very quickly. Whereas when I try ramble, and I hope to wait and try and uh, actually make some some improvements, they decide to uh, to take forever and jam my game up, which sounds about right to me. We've got the spinning jenny, which is great. We've got a university down here at Tatooine. So we can destroy the university here at this school. Get this priest to move down to Tatooine. Tatooine can start researching. Probably empiricism. It's a quick technology to cut down on research rates and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, let's build a light galley to go occupy a Naba. Because now Algier is going to really start churning out the cash. Well, I say really start churning out the cash. Plus one. <laughs> Plus one for that. So currently they have no religious unhappiness. So I'm content to let my priest continue to do his work. Especially he's only 31. He's not at risk of dying soon. So let's get... I mean, this increases happiness for Catholic population though. But allegedly, I'm not getting any of that. It's not entertainment and culture. It's a distinctly specific thing. Religious happiness. So I'm not getting any of that. So it would be, would be better if I upgraded this to a pure, a direct happiness building. There we go. Our marines are ready. Non è possibile, Let's move our sloop up to Newcastle. So we can call my militia back. Not necessary to keep them happy here through a garrison, but it's just I don't want to send all my men across to uh, shores unknown. unknown. So it's just one ship, and it's a lot to send my. It's a lot to send my ships to send my troops overseas on one ship. But it's not a massive problem. So how much is that? 1700. It's a lot of fourth rates we can churn out in a turn. Whoa, we're about to lose a l We've lost a lot of cash. Oh, it's because the Ottomans are, are being uh, blockaded. Sounds about right. But London is booming. 40 gold a turn growth. And I'm, so I might build this pleasure garden just to speed up the time at which we're able to build a new religious building. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. So, <laughs> thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. After this has been a bit of a stable episode, we're just trying to get stuff done, but we want to push an army out across the, uh, across the Atlantic, because we've got to bear in mind we are against, we're still fighting against these large powers at the end of the day. So we need to grow our economy and make it fit. And we can do that by taking over new lands. So let's take my army. Embark them on the ships. Oh no wait, I've already... Pfft. I'm an idiot. Take my army. Go to Giovanni Sanchi. Let's sail him over to the Americas. It's probably... Build a bit more line in the UK is a bit of a garrison. Because <laughs> we are still at war with Sweden. Who's indifferent to us? They want Scotland. Okay, what if I just don't give you Scotland and I do this? No. Okay, well I'm not going to give them Scotland. Cool. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for another episode of the Knights of St John. Cheers everyone.